that duck is the best part of this whole video. Welcome guys, this is our first video, uh, Bright Duck Productions, it's our first go at this. And today we are going to bring you the broadsword out of the trench run glitch. It is very amazing. It takes a long, long, long time to do though. When you actually get outside the map though, it's, it's worth it. It's worth all the time you died. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff out here. Uh, there's like some lava walls or something right here. Just like, you'll never see any of this stuff any other way. It's really cool, really awesome glitch to do. A lot of stuff to see out here. We still could not figure out what those lava walls were, but yeah, no, there's fan yeah. fantastic. And you, there's the earth over there. You know, there's just like a lot of cool stuff out here. Um, you know, wanna, you know, like these little things out here is like, oh, why were those out there? You know, you can't even see them from inside the map. It's, it, it's just really cool. You know, you can, and then you know when you get to the bowl, there's these UNSC ships out here. You can have a better look at. Uh, I know a lot of people on the waypoint forums were, you know, wondering, you know, what what are these? You know, there's no theater mode, so we can't really get a good look at them. Well, now of this glitch, now you can. Yeah, you can and, even uh, fly through a, them. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, they're not solid, unfortunately. You can fly through them. I clipped through that one there. Uh, they're they're really interesting. They're not like any other Halo ship designs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, you can actually finish the mission out also from outside the map. It's a little tricky to do. But you can. You yeah, you will have to perform trick shots over and over again. Probably die a few yeah. times again. Yeah, I, I died a bunch of times throughout this video. Alright, so you want to load up uh, Midnight at Rally Point Alpha, of course. Uh, whatever difficulty is fine. Uh, it's best to do this with two people. I'll tell you why here in just a little bit at the end of the video. Remember that this, this whole part right here took us about 20 minutes to do. Just getting outside yeah. the map. Alright, to the, I, I just died next to the column you'll want to be aiming for. You want to go up there and then slide your longsword across the top of the, the barrier over there. You'll see right now. No pun intended with the sliding your longsword. Needle, needle, needle. <laughs> uh, so you get up there, you get outside the map, and it took a thousand years to get to this. And we are like, oh yeah, we finally got it. And uh, true excitement. Yeah, it was just you don't want to watch better, those better than pesky, those pesky uh, uh, invisible walls. You want to watch out for those. I flew into those so many times. All right, now we're uh, we're at the end of the level now before the big bowl. This is why you want to do this co-op style. You actually fly reverse through the hole. You'll hit that load zone, and then you uh, you can kill yourself after this. And uh, what that does is it loads the bowl. There, you can see it there, and uh, that'll allow you to fly through there, see all these really cool ships. But you can't really do it by yourself, because you'll either get trapped inside the map, or it's just ridiculously, impossibly hard to do. Definitely, you want um, two people. You definitely want two people. Well, Nixon, uh, this has been a lot of fun. This has been yeah. our first video. I'm sure our viewers are very happy that they can get outside the trench run now. And uh, viewers, stay tuned. There may be more videos to come.